What's up everybody, it's your boy Mastermind here of Ohio Cannabis Live, and we're back with another video. Make sure you like and subscribe and watch it in for a chance to win a free grinder. Peace. <music> What's up everybody, it's your boy Anthony aka Mastermind here with Ohio Cannabis Live and we are back yet with another review video. Today I am in Cincinnati, Ohio and I'm at Have a Heart Cincinnati, one of the first minority owned dispensaries uh, in the state. There is another one, uh, Leaf Relief, but this one here is in Cincinnati and it's in the, the heart of the city. Uh, I'm in a neighborhood that has everything you could possibly want. In one building they have the dispensary, the medical marijuana doctor, and the vape shop here. Lefties. He has all kinds of things here. Um, also, you have a pen station, a gas station, a Frisch's Big Boy, a cell phone company, and a CVS, all right here within virtually walking distance of the location. So, you know what they say, location, location, location. So they have a lot of things around here, and it was pretty easy to get here. My GPS didn't have any hiccups, so pretty easy to get here. Um, obviously, the weather is kind of bad today, so I'm over under overhang, which I like. And I'm able to still do my video with you guys, and I'm not getting wet. I love it. Um, customer service, excellent. Products, products available, all of them. Edibles, flowers, tinctures, gummies, uh, fecal oil, RSO, uh, candy. Every medical marijuana product is available in the state. It's pretty much available here at Have a Heart, just about. I'm not going to say every last thing, but almost everything. Also, they have the Mastermind Kush Concentrates here as well. So if you haven't got a chance to try some Mastermind Concentrate, you can try it here. They have it. Um, they have a couple different promotions going on. Um, you know, I'm not going to say those because by the time you watch the video, the promotion might be over. But they'll be having different deals and sales. Uh, for the indigent and veteran discount, it's 25%. So if you're a veteran or you have the indigent status, it's a 25% discount. The menu is available on leafy but will soon be available also on weed maps and uh, i will be updating ohio medical cannabis group.com with the new weed maps menu here shortly probably in the next day or two so you'll be able to access it from my website um also like i said i want to let you know that um this is a really good company um this company is set up through uh, a, a ministry they're sponsoring it helping it grow and, and it's a very faith-based organization so they're all about community and uh, that's why the dispensary is in the community. As you can see behind me, I'm, I'm basically in a neighborhood on a corner. And uh, like I said, I, I like to see these kind of things happen. Um, this is a very stable area. I don't see anything that concerns me safety-wise. So I think it's a really nice, safe area. I've been here for two hours, and I haven't observed anything that makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, pricing, um, they have a wide berth of pricing. Um, one of the lowest items I saw on flower was about uh, 30 some odd dollars. I can't give the exact dollar amount because that price will vary depending on whether you have any status or not. Um, but they have some very reasonable prices. They have some bulk ounce deals. So you can get you some big weight here if you want to get you a half ounce or ounce. Um, you can do that here as long as you have the days, right? <laughs> so, um, and, and like I said, the staff is very friendly. Um, and that, that makes it easier for me to do my job. Um, and like I said, I, I think this is a place that I would recommend you come to and check it out, especially if you live in Cincinnati or even if you live in the surrounding areas like Dayton, Lebanon, Springfield. I think it's worth the trek to come down here and check them out. Um, I recommend all these dispensaries. You know I say that all the time. I recommend you visit them all. But this one I really like because of the size of it and the education factor here was great. Um, they do give you a little folder. Um, with the information in it that you can use for your later uh, for your dosing and everything else and I think that's important and uh, like I said you know the fact that the dispensary is in the neighborhood to me is a big draw because I'm all about community oh, there comes somebody bumping their music they see me filming they cut it off isn't that nice um, so you know I, I think it's important to give people the information about these different dispensaries let them know what's available what it's like is it safe is it clean are the people nice absolutely um, one other thing I do want to touch base on um, is that the manager, he's a very nice guy, and I had an opportunity to have a conversation with him. And uh, he did some in interviews on the media or whatnot, 
and uh, he was asked a question about, uh, you know, being able to, uh, you know, make sure people don't overuse the system or get too much product. And he kind of mentioned about the state's 90 day, uh, rolling 90 day limit program. And he mentioned, you know, it was set up so people wouldn't overdose. Um, what, he, what he meant to say at that time wasn't overdosing, it was over dispensing. And what over, over dispensing is, is where the patient um, was at their limit and they was given product anyway when they shouldn't have. That's an over dispensing error. That's what they was talking about. They weren't referring to overdosing like overdosing on drugs or a fentanyl overdose, for example. They was talking about giving out too much flour by mistake. So it was a system put in place to make sure that you get what you're supposed to get in your 90 day period. And he was just trying to make sure that he said the right terminology to make sure that he didn't have any issues with the state. So uh, again, he did not mean anything about overdosing. Obviously there is no evidence that you can overdose from marijuana. I don't believe that. They don't believe that. No one believes that, okay? There is something about overdoing it. And overdoing it is a whole different thing. That's where you've eaten too many edibles or taken in too many medical marijuana products and that made you feel sick or made you have anxiety or stress or headaches or palpitations or chest pains or fast heart rate or maybe in some extreme cases you may have had to go to the hospital. Um, this actually occurred in Illinois. Many people in Illinois um, actually had some problems uh, because they went and bought a whole bunch of medical marijuana products because recreational was legal there and it made them sick and they ran to the hospital because they thought something was wrong. Nothing was wrong. It was just they ate too much edibles thinking that, you know, they can handle it. So that's overdoing, not overdosing, to be clear. Um, so I just want to make sure we cleared that up for folks that were confused about the statements that were made. They definitely did not mean overdose. It was over dispensing, to be clear. Um, you know, there are other dispensaries inside Cincinnati. Another dispensary here is Verilife. I will be going there as well and doing a video about them. So I, when I do videos, folks, I try to make it as fair, as neutral as possible. So when I come out, I'm checking them all out. I'm not just going to come one dispensary and just put all my energy into that. I got to go check them all out as many as I can do in one day and stand and talk and do as much as I can. And this medical marijuana has got me on my feet, okay? I wasn't even supposed to be able to talk. Now look at me. I'm talking. I'm doing videos. Other folks are doing videos. And we are growing. This stuff is working. I wouldn't even be here if it wouldn't be for the support from you guys that are watching these videos and the prayers from the community and the groups that I have and all these other folks that have decided to rally around me and help me. So I am very thankful. Again, I want to thank everybody. Everybody across the board, patients, dispensary owners, cultivator and processor owners, I want to thank everybody for your support and supporting me and helping me grow into this. And, and now that I did it and I've seen how I can help everybody else, I'm hooked. I love helping people. That's my mission. I love that what I'm doing is helping you folks out, and that's what I'm about. I ain't getting paid for this. I don't get no money for this. I drove down here in a storm to come do this video because it's important for people to have the right information, people to get an education about Ohio medical marijuana and what we're trying to do here to get people off opiates and to help our communities heal. And that's the goal. So with that, I'm going to say I recommend you come check out Have a Heart Sensi, and I'm going to recommend you check out all the other dispensaries that are also open in Cincinnati and the surrounding areas and support them too because without your support, the program will not succeed and we won't keep it open. So we need y'all to support all dispensaries, no matter where they are. And, you know, if one is an hour and a half away, make it a trip. Make it a vacation and get away and take a trip and go somewhere different and see how it's done somewhere else. Because the one next to you does things one way, the one 100 miles away from you does it another way, another one over here does it different. Each dispensary I've been to, and I've been to 23 dispensaries, each one is different in its own unique way. And uh, that's all in positives all positives. I have not had any bad experiences at any of these dispensaries that I've been to, and that's the honest to God truth. I don't, like I said, I don't gain anything. They don't, they don't cut me a check for doing these videos. It's my gas, my time, my dime, and my phone, and my music, and all my own stuff. Because like I said, I want to make sure that you get the facts without any bias. So that's important for me. If you like to do some review videos for Ohio Cannabis Live, and record them and send them to me. I will upload those videos and put you in there and you can do it too. I empower you to do this because it can't all be about what my opinion is. I want other people's opinions too. That's not a one-sided thing. So I think it's important that we look at it that way is we want to make sure that other people have a voice. And so I encourage you to get out here and do your own video review of your dispensary in your area. What can it hurt? Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you. Get you a little tripod off Amazon and go for it. I did. 
and look at me now. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off so I get to the next dispensary. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Share it. Tell your friends. And spread the word. Ohio Cannabis Live is here to stay. Peace. Another mastermind hit.